Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I meant to do this video yesterday, but I had a working lunch, so I wasn't able to do it during my lunch break. I had a meeting during lunch, and um, so I wasn't available to do the video, but I'm gonna do the video right now. In Texas, you had two people get into a dispute, a simple dispute over fireworks. This was on the 4th of July, if I'm not mistaken. You had this white man named Jason Roche, who's 41 years old, who got into this dispute with a 19-year-old African-American young man by the name of Devonte Ortiz. So they were arguing over fireworks. This white guy basically told this guy to stop using fireworks or whatever. They got into a dispute. And at one point, this white guy's father got involved and got into a pushing match with um, Devonte Ortiz. And Devonte Ortiz eventually pushed this man down and then um this guy jason uh roche pulled out a gun on several occasions during this this dispute and this was captured on video he kept pointing the gun at this guy and then eventually he shot and killed this young man Devante um ortiz and it's important to note that Devante ortiz is not some troublemaker he's not some hooligan or anything like that. This is an honor roll student, you know, a football star, somebody who's loved and cherished by his community. This young man is gunned down over some fireworks. And then this white man who killed this young brother had the audacity to say that he was acting in self-defense when he killed this brother. Even though this brother was unarmed, he did not pose any kind of danger to anyone. He was not placing anyone's life in jeopardy. Uh, so this young brother got gunned down and now this white man has been charged and now he's claiming self-defense and he's allegedly gonna claim that he was standing his ground and this and that when that shooting took place using the same type of defense that George Zimmerman used against Trayvon Martin. So this is a case that I'm gonna follow. It is very disturbing. Here we are, you know, People are supposed to be celebrating the 4th of July, the independence of the United States of America. They're supposed to be celebrating democracy and freedom and this and that. And on this day, we had this brother killed over some fireworks. Man, this is insane, man. And I hope that this guy, uh, Jason Roche, is sentenced to the full extent of the law. Hope that he's punished. Hope that he gets a you know the worst sentence possible for killing this young brother, a brother's his life snuffed out, you know at the prime of his life. This brother could have gone on to do and become anything, but because of this senseless acts of violence, you know now that the community is without a brother, the community is without a, a son, another young black man gunned down, killed, and taken too soon. So I just had to share my thoughts about this, man. It's just outrageous that you have these things continue to happen. Um, you know, this violence that plagues our community, you know, this violence, senseless, you know, racist violence against black men. And there's no doubt in my mind that race played some kind of role in this dispute, man. Um, it's just crazy that these people think that they can exercise dominion and control over black men. And when black men do not bow down before these people, they feel like they are entitled to take black lives. Like you had the situation where a brother was killed for playing his music too loud. You had the situation with Trayvon Martin, the brother simply trying to get home from the store, you know, and you had somebody say that they look suspicious, you know, view him, you know, view him automatically as some kind of criminal and stuff when he's just trying to get home. And that brother ends up dead because he resists, um, you know, the racism or the, you know, the bullying of a George Zimmerman. So tell me what y'all think, man. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.